The Sheriff's Department today called one of its own a hero. This on the heels of a shooting at the Mayan 14 movie theater on the city's south side. Authorities say if it had not been for the actions of a county deputy last night, national headlines may have been made in San Antonio as the latest location of a shooting massacre. Gary Cooper joins us live with the latest. Absolutely right, Deborah. Police and deputies are saying Jesus Garcia could have injured dozens or done far worse at the Mayan 14 movie theater on the south side. Thankfully, a deputy didn't allow that to happen. When news of the shooting at the Mayan 14 movie theater broke, it brought thoughts of Colorado and Connecticut. In this case, Sergeant Lisa Castellano was there, and she did something. Where the action she took prevented a lot of more people from getting hurt or even worse killed. Police say on Sunday night, Jesus Garcia went to the China Garden restaurant where he works. Officers say he and his girlfriend, who also works at China Garden, had an argument. There may have been a breakup between the two. Uh, and he was having a difficult time dealing with the breakup, and uh, that's what may have set him off to come over here and commit this act. Uh, he... Deputies say Garcia started shooting, shot the front door, then ran outside and kept shooting. This truck was shot as Garcia ran to the Mayan. He entered the lobby. Deputies say that's when Sergeant Lisa Castellano went to work. She took the appropriate action to try to uh, keep everyone safe in the movie theater. And, and that was the most important thing. So. Castellano chased Garcia into the men's restroom. Garcia kept firing. Castellano cornered Garcia and opened fire on him. Garcia was shot several times. He's in critical condition. The Sheriff's Department said had Lisa Castellano not been there, the situation could have been far worse. She's an experienced veteran and she has her commission as a peace officer. And so, like I say, we're, we're fortunate that she's very well trained. Garcia was taken to Samsey. He faces one charge of attempted capital murder, and there could be many more charges once the investigation is finished. Reporting live on the southwest side, Gary Cooper, Kent's 5 Eyewitness News.